Welcome to another day in pre-K with Miss Susie. Hi, pre-kinders, and welcome back. Let's start off with our Days of the Week song so we know what today is. Days of the Week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Sing with me now. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. All right, if yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday. It is Tuesday, April 13th, so it has been 13 days of April. And today is also my birthday, and it's also another student's birthday. It's Adelaide's birthday. So me and Adelaide, we have the same birthday. Happy birthday, Adelaide. All right, let's look at what we're doing this week. We are doing sand, and our question is... What do you think sandpaper feels like? Right here, I have a picture of some sandpaper. Looking at the sandpaper, what do you think it feels like? And if you have sandpaper at home, you can touch it. If you don't, you can guess by looking at it and tell me what does it feel like? Does it feel soft? Does it feel scratchy? Does it feel rough? Does it feel hard? Does it feel smooth? Let me know what you think. All right, when you are done with the question of the day for Mystery Science Day, you're going to learn about how the earth is round. How did we ever find out that the earth is round like a circle? Watch the video to find out how. And then for read aloud again, you can re-listen to the story where the wild things are. When you are done with your read aloud book for literacy today, I want you to write the lowercase letters of the alphabet. So yesterday you wrote all the uppercase letters. So today I want you to practice writing the lowercase letters. And then I want you to practice reading them when you are done and take a video of yourself pointing to the letters and reading them. All right, when you are done practicing writing all your lowercase letters, you can watch this video for math about ordinal numbers. So we talked about ordinal numbers first, second, and third. Today we're going to talk about first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. So ordinal numbers will teach you what comes next in a sequence. And so that's why they're called ordinal numbers because they tell you what comes first in the order, what comes next, and what comes last. And it tells you how many things there are in the order or in the sequence. All right, when you are done with that, boys and girls, you can go on to your tablet for app time. You can continue con kids, any assignments for the day. You can go on to IXL if there are any skills you want to practice. And then you can also choose two or three books from Epic to read. And that's it. Bye, pre-kinders. Have a great day.